2019 has been an incredible year for Speed the Light. Just yesterday, I was able to approve $80,000 to assist our Rocky Mountain Ministry Network missionaries to get vehicles because of Speed the Light. Man, I was so excited to make those phone calls. I got to talk to Linda Schultz, who is our rodeo missions chaplain. And just a few years ago, she lost her husband. You know what? She could have threw in the towel and said her season of ministry is over, but she didn't. She pressed on and is doing so much more for the gospel. We were able to approve a new truck for her in replacing her old truck that she's been driving for 12 years. That was an amazing phone call to make because of Speed the Light. I was also able to call Julianne Garten. She is the Teen Challenge Director in Olathe, the Ladies' House of Promise. And just a few months ago, her van broke broke down with ladies in it, headed to ladies retreat. And guess what? Yesterday, we were able to approve her for a brand new van because of Speed the Light funds. You know, over the past two years, we had to actually borrow funds from other districts to help pay for vehicles for our missionaries. Well, again, just yesterday, we were able to repay those districts because of your generosity in Speed the Light giving. I'm so happy to say that, that we are on track in 2020. We're excited for what God is going to do. Each church plays a key role in helping raise Speed the Light funds. Champions are leading the way. Champions like Jason Neely in Delta, who just this week came through in a big way to help us be able to fund that vehicle for Teen Challenge. Champions like youth pastor Brent Gwynn in Fruta, who spent an entire week without a vehicle. He rode a bike everywhere he went just so he could realize what it's like for missionaries to not have a vehicle. He documented that entire story and his church has got behind him in a great way in giving to Speed the Light. Champions like Pastor Troy Lewis in Steamboat Springs, who faithfully and generously gives to Speed the Light. And his method is he takes a percentage of his missions giving and gives that towards Speed the Light. For students all across Rocky Mountain District who in 2020 are going to be making a pledge and taking the big challenge to give $1,000, to raise $1,000 to give to missionaries. Listen, God has called us to do big things as a district. And in 2020, we're having a call for students, for kids, for youth pastors, for pastors, and for churches to go big for missions. Whether it's BGMC, whether it's Speed the Light, whether it's One a Week, whether it's Light for the Lost, whatever the local missions organization that you choose to get behind, listen, nothing is bigger than the call to reach the lost for Christ. And nothing is greater than watching kids, students, pastors and churches answer that call. When we give to missions, missionaries win. The lost are found and the gospel is spread to a lost and a dying world. Thank you so much for what you do for Speed the Light, for BGMC, for missions all around the world. I just wanted to say thank you.